Rev up your engine! You might want to check out one of these Lexus RX 350L. This particular one is a new one, a 2020. Now this car is all about luxuries and looks. From the added 20 inch wheels, nice lines, dual exhaust, plenty of power for towing. It's an evolution of the classic Lexus SUVs. Pretty much the gold standard for normal people SUVs. I'm not including the exotic ones here. I mean, these are expensive enough, this particular one. It's as loaded as can be, as you can see. It's $63,805. If you have that kind of money and you want a luxury SUV that's gonna last and last, you definitely wanna check this thing out. From the history of my own customers buying these things, they get two, three, 400,000 miles out of these things. They last a long time. So you might think, oh, that's an awful lot of money. But if it lasts two to three times longer than the competition, you're actually getting your money's worth. And to begin with, it's got the interior size that people want in a serious SUV. Lots of room inside the front. Check the back seats. Lots of room here. And when we flip them, there is third row seating. Realize that, you know, it's not for gigantic people. Because if you see here, <laughs> not the biggest leg room in the world. You're going to have to move these up. You're not going to have giant football players all fitting in the back here. This is the L. It is a longer vehicle. This L with a third row seating is only 4.4 inches longer than the 350 that isn't the L. So it's not that much bigger. <laughs> And there is a third row, but it's not a full-size third row. And the people in the back only have this little slit window to look out of, too. It's a little confined in the back. But as you can see on the inside, and there goes the mirror automatically opening. But as you can see on the inside, it's very luxurious. I love this black wood grain steering wheel. It is just the coolest steering wheel. I always like black and silver. It's got nice black wood and black leather and chrome. It really sets the car off. And of course, as we start it up, so Lexus starts right up. It's got all the technology. We push the little mirror here, and that gives you the three cameras that circle all around the vehicle for parking. So it goes all the way around. It shows exactly where you're parked. Unlike the other one, when you back it up, you get a good split screen. You see what's behind you, but you also see the sides. So you can get in and out of parking very easily. And I do have to say I love the screen. It's a bigger screen. It's nice and wide. You really get a good view. Tack on the left, speedometer on the right, classic. Any kind of information you want, you can fiddle with all the gauges if you want to. Has a sunroof if you want it. An insanely comfortable and beautiful seats. My wife is very particular. She said these are the best seats she's ever ridden in. And this might be an SUV, but it doesn't ride like one. My wife liked that too. She admitted it rides better than her Lexus sedan. This does not ride like an SUV. It rides more like a luxury sedan than an SUV because of the suspension setup. We'll get out and go under the hood, crack it open. And we see a very dependable V6 Lexus engine. Pick off the cover. And at least they're easy to get off. They stop bolting them on. Now they just snap on. It's a very dependable yet capable engine. Puts out 295 horsepower. When you go to the back, it can tow 3,500 pounds. So you can tow stuff with this. About anywhere, because it's all wheel drive. It's got the drive shafts in the front. And when you go to the back, it's got the drive shafts in the back too. There they are. Not that you're gonna be taking this luxury vehicle off road. <laughs> <laughs> but it has a very intelligent Lexus all-wheel drive system, all computer controlled. Changes the ratio of which has most drive to suit all the conditions. Little or no problems at all as they age. Pretty bulletproof system. Now it's a relatively large heavy vehicle, has all-wheel drive, so it's no gas miser. Particularly when I'm getting about 17 in town and getting about 24 on a highway, driving conservatively. Again, as I've always said, you don't buy a big luxury SUV to get phenomenal gas mileage. There is no such animal. They're too big, too heavy, too high off the ground, and all-wheel drive. No way are you going to get phenomenal gas mileage. What you get is handling, comfort, smooth rides. That's what luxury SUVs are about, as you're going to see right now. Get inside, start her up. And as per usual, with these electronic automatic transmissions, you can go drive, or you can go manual where you can shift it yourself. Maybe you like shifting, maybe you don't. 
Most people with a luxury car, they don't like shifting. This baby has a nice, quiet, smooth ride. It's got plenty of power. It's almost 300 horsepower. Again, it's not a race vehicle. It's not what this is for. I now have it in regular drive in the D, not the manual. And we'll see how it takes off. We'll just floor it and away we go. It throws you back in the seat a little. And it's got a very smooth shift pattern. But it rides like a dream. We're hitting the bumps and it's like you're floating over them. Which is kind of amazing for a big SUV that's high up in the air when you think about it. And again, for big SUV, this thing handles like a dream. This isn't like you're riding around in some boat that you point. This is very crisp. That was the one complaint that people had for years about Lexus. This was that uh, they were good, but they didn't handle all that well. These things handle like a dream. And they have a very intelligent braking system that really, you wouldn't think you're driving an SUV. You think you're just driving a luxury car. It's got all the electronics stability functions on it if you happen to take your eye off the road it'll start activating the brakes i tried it out and it worked pretty good stop this beast stop pretty fast didn't it now you heard those weird noises well lexus's and toyota abs systems have always made weird noises when you do emergency stops you saw it stop perfectly well that's the normal noises that they make don't freak out and think something's breaking that's what happens in an emergency stop the abs system starts activating stuff and it makes all kinds of strange sounds but it stops. But one of the biggest things of these is the ride. Every time I get an SUV, my wife cringes and said, oh, we got another big SUV. I hate those things. They're bouncy. They're too high up in the air. What did she say about this? Oh, I like it better than my Lexus for the ride. It has a very smooth ride. And coming from her, that says something. And it has style. I mean, I'm in love with this black steering wheel. I gotta get a hold of one of them for my own cars. I really like this black and silver steering wheel. But the whole car, there's room, there's space. It's quiet, it's comfy. Except for the little people that have to sit in the third row seating. And it's rather cramped back there. But look at it this way, it's way back there. Let's say you have babies, or in my case, grandbabies. They can go way in the back, so they can't spit on you. <laughs> the mothers can sit in the back seat, and the babies can be in their little harnesses in the third row ones back there, where they're really safe and far away from me. <laughs> And of course, it's got all the settings too. You can do the economy, normal, sport. You can mess with the all-wheel drive. And if you want to drive like a maniac, you can even turn the traction control off. Oh, but I'm so disappointed because that other Lexus sports car had the cute little mirror that was here you could pull out. This doesn't have the mirror. I guess they figure people with SUVs are less vain. I mean, really, still got the mirror up here and the mirror over there. It's not like there are any mirrors. <laughs> and one of my favorite things, check it out. Nice looking chrome trim. Not just this ugly monocolor. This thing is decked out. And I really like the 20 inch wheels. I'm not always that big of a wheel fan, but when you go back and look at the vehicle, those rims with the spokes and the 20 inchers really set things off. And when you look at it, it's got a really nice aggressive style to it. Even the back has some space age stuff to it. I guess even I'm gonna have to get used to this gaping front mouth because everybody's going to it. But who knows, I'm so cheap, by the time I buy one of these, it's gonna be eight or 10 years old. And by then, maybe we'll have front end kits that I can swap the front end to a more classic one. <laughs> hey, I paid three grand for my wife's Lexus years ago. Maybe I'd pay $6,000 for one of these when it's 10 years old. <laughs> So now you know a little bit more about luxury SUVs. And why, if you got $63,000 burning a hole in your pocket, you might want to pick up one of these Lexuses. And here's some bonus questions and answers. Cornelia195 says, I'm looking at a 2010 Dodge Challenger SE. 89,000 miles for 8,800 bucks. Guy says there's an electrical short somewhere. It causes fuses to go, but it runs fine. Run away. They're fast as can be. They also wear out fast. That one's 10 years old and has 89,000 miles, and he says it has some electrical problem. Run away from that car. They are just endless money pits as they age. They look cool when they're new. They run fine, but at that age and that mileage and having electrical problems, psh, he wants 8,800 bucks. I wouldn't even give him four grand for that car it's got problems that he's telling you about openly he's probably got other ones he's not telling you about run away from that so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos remember to ring that bell